Hey guys, if you could subscribe to our channel and like our videos, that would be a big help to what we do on a daily basis. Today I want to share with you guys one of my favorite um, little chunks here of scripture, and that is Galatians chapter 1, verses 6 to 8, which reads as, I'm going to read it right now. I am astonished that you are so quickly deserting the one who called you by the grace of Christ and are turning to a different gospel, which is really no gospel at all. Evidently, some people are throwing you into confusion and are trying to pervert the gospel of Christ. But even if we or an angel from heaven should preach a gospel other than the one we preach to you, let him be eternally condemned. Um, this is, in essence, um, it's a recording of the Apostle Paul warning against believing a different gospel. Um, in the time and days of Paul, just like it is today, there are people who uh, go out and preach a false gospel. The Bible tells us we see a false gospel uh, presented in what we would call pseudo-Christian cults, for example. Groups like Jehovah's Witnesses, Mormons, um, the 12 tribes of Israel cult, which is a uh, Hebrew roots movement cult. We see a false gospel also in some of the very extreme uh, fringe uh, charismatic churches today, which, um, and the reason why they preach false gospel is they have not preached repentance, which is very scary. Uh, these are churches that, uh, unfortunately are part of the new apostolic reformation. These churches, uh, really in essence, uh, some of them totally leave out sin. Some downplay the role of sin, but, uh, you will never really hear about the wrath of God or repentance uh, in many of those churches, which is a very sad thing. Instead, you'll hear about uh, the idea of an encounter gospel, which is a gospel that is sort of completely based off of just, oh, you just have to let God into your ha heart and just sort of encounter God. What you need is an encounter, but there really is never any emphasis at uh, a lot of those conferences on the gospel, the evangelio, the good news of Jesus Christ. As Christians, that really is the crux of our message. That really is what everything is filtered through. And that really is the message that we are going out and proclaiming, which is the life, death, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. That Jesus died on the cross as a propitiation for our sin. Uh, Jesus took the punishment that we deserve, uh, which is, you know, was brutal. I mean, we're talking beaten, bloodied, scarred. And just pouring blood, hit with the cat and nine tails, I mean the whole nine yards. And he took the death essentially that we deserve, the punishment that we deserve by dying on the cross uh, in place of, uh, of in place, um, dying on the cross in place of our sins. And we deserve that, but Jesus died in place for us. And with nail stretched hands, he cried out, It is finished. And really, in essence, one of the most amazing, one of my favorite passages of scripture is right after that with the centurion. Uh, we see the temple veil torn in two. And the centurion and all these other people who essentially are pagans realize, oh, whoa, this is actually, we just crucified the Mashiach, the Messiah, the anointed one. And they realize that they totally, that, you know, essentially that they realize that they blew it that this was actually the Messiah in front of them. And today, if you're out there and you're part of a group that preaches a false gospel, uh, as a Christian, what I want to encourage you to do is repent and trust in Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior. Uh, today, you can have the 100% free gift of salvation. The Bible says in Ephesians chapter 2, verses 8 to 9, that salvation is a free gift from the Lord, lest none shall boast. And the good news about the good news is just that it is completely free, friends. So if you have not made Jesus Christ Lord of your life, I would encourage you to do so today. Uh, and I guarantee you, you'll never be the same. It will not be easy. We see the Apostle Paul with the thorn in his side. Uh, and I can tell you throughout my years of being on the Christian journey uh, that I've had a lot of injuries I've had mental illness, I've had an eating disorder, but thanks be to Jesus Christ, our Lord, I've come out uh, of those other things on the other side. And you will have battles like the battles I've had in my life once you become a Christian. There is no doubt about it. The Christian life is a battle. It is a struggle. But really, 
uh, we, you know, as Christians, we were able to carry the message of grace that is essentially grace is just unmerited favor. And that's an amazing thing, friends. I want to encourage you in your walk with the Lord, if you're watching this video today, that um, just be encouraged in your walk with your Lord. Know that Jesus loves you. Know that Jesus is for you. And uh, just go out there and proclaim the message of the gospel. And I just want to say, guys, get in your Bible, read the word, and have an awesome day, guys. God bless. Have a great day.